Good morning, DFW New Beginnings Church. What a pleasure it is to join you, even if only by video, for this wonderful time to stand with Israel. I want to begin by expressing my deep appreciation to pastors Larry and Tishuk for hosting this important event, but especially for always standing firm with Israel and all of our Jewish friends all around the world. Tiz and Larry have a long history of leading Christians across this country to stand with Israel. And I appreciate the opportunity they have given me to express my support for Israel and to stand with all of you at the DFW New Beginnings. Genesis 12:3 tells us, and I will bless those who bless you. And the one who curses you, I will curse. And in you, all the families of the earth will be blessed. I know that I always wanna be on the blessing side of that promise. And I know that each of you do as well. I'm the son of a pastor, a PK, and I was blessed to be raised in a household that understood and taught the importance of Israel. In my dad, Pastor Rafael Cruz, I witnessed firsthand a genuine love and appreciation for Israel. And he instilled in me from a young boy an understanding of just how important Israel is to God and to all of the other peoples of the earth. There is no other nation or people on earth that holds the unique position in times past or times to come that Israel holds. I'm proud to honor and stand with Israel this morning. Israel finds itself in an extraordinarily dangerous situation today with the United States under Barack Obama having shrunk back from its traditional role as the fearless defender and steadfast partner of Israel. The political relationship between the United States and Israel is of vital importance. Israel is our strongest and most important ally in the Middle East. Israel is a beacon of freedom and democracy in an oppressive region surrounded by enemies who seek not only the destruction of Israel as a nation, but also seek the genocide of the Jewish people. This cannot stand unchallenged. There's no other country or people in the world so regularly and violently attacked as Israel. From knife attacks in the streets, to suicide bombers on the buses, to rockets flying through the air. Hamas and Hezbollah and terrorist groups routinely go to the edge of Israel's borders and launch thousands of rockets each year into the neighborhoods and communities where innocent people seek merely to live normal and peaceful lives. Iran and other neighboring countries fuel the hatred for Israel and fund the terrorist attacks on the most innocent of citizens. No people should have to live like that. These are the reasons that I applaud not only the general support that all of you provide for Israel, but in particular, I commend you for contributing $100,000 to the construction of bomb shelters near the ancient city of Haifa, providing a safe haven into which innocent Israelis can flee will literally save lives. The Bible says, where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. By giving your treasure to the people of Israel, you've shown your heart. I ask all of you also to join me in speaking out in unison against this catastrophic Iranian nuclear deal, the single greatest national security threat facing America and facing Israel. If Iran acquires nuclear weapons as this deal makes a virtual certainty, the odds are unacceptably high Iran would use those weapons either against Israel, which they call the little Satan, or against America, which Iran calls the great Satan. We must do everything possible. We need a commander in chief who says under no circumstances will the nation of Iran led by a theocratic Ayatollah who chants death to America under no circumstances will Iran be allowed to acquire nuclear weapons. It is also time, indeed it's past time, for us to move the U.S. Embassy in Israel to Jerusalem, the once and eternal capital of Israel. This would be an important way to bless Israel, to honor God and to receive the blessings of God, referred to in Genesis. The Jewish roots of my own Christian faith help drive the unwavering support of Israel and the Jewish people all across the earth. There should be no tighter bond between two peoples 
than that which links Christians and Jews, and no greater partnership between two nations than that which links the United States and Israel. Our military alliance, our friendship, profoundly benefits the national security of both nations. Congratulations, as all of you stand with Israel this morning and fund the construction of these important shelters. May God continue to bless the United States of America, the nation of Israel, and all of the descendants of Jacob who are the seed of Israel and the apple of God's eye. God bless.